Howdy ho, neighborinos. We are here today for another week of the APA Academy. Like you're aware by now, we took over for the Dawn Fanatic, and I felt like I said that sentence slower than usual. I got that, like, I got that just got off work fucking just general slowness. It's like work was a horse and it kicked me in the head a little bit, you know? So we're just, uh, we're, we're lagging a little bit. This is that five second delay, bro, like sportscasters. So um, <laughs> we go up against our boy JB. Now, if you haven't seen JB's channel, you need to check it out because that boy is the fucking goat and that's my fucking boy so like it's like honestly dude the only person's content that i watch anymore is jb's like it's just good content you know he's got the perfect combination of good at the game and like funny sarcastic witty remarks so like that's all you need in the world you know so we're gonna miss jb our fucking boy and uh you know it's gonna be a fun one because if you look at the matchup um minior actually puts in fucking gratuitous amounts of work dude like if minior was tipping at a restaurant it would be 25 percent or higher it's so gratuitous my guy oh my goodness um but funny story um and let's take this back right so funny story let's go ahead and just get the get the general gist of the, the situation um general gist if you will and if you didn't salute i don't like you so you see the matchup this is the matchup that i prepped for but, um, the document was not updated at the time that I started prepping, so this is not the team that he has. <laughs> this is not the team that he has anymore. He's made several transactions. He's got like a, he's got a Keldeo now, he's got a Tyranitar now, he's got a Typhlosion now, and even honestly, like, to this point right now, I'm not 100% sure what got dropped for what. I do know Kirim is still his Z user, and that's the only Mon he brought uh, only potential Z-Mon that he brought to the actual game. So I did have to, I actually asked him, I was like, so it's the same Z-Users, right? And then, like, as we're loading up the battle, I was like, it's the same Z-Users, right? And then I was like, okay, but just just to make sure, this is like, you know, like, I just I just wanted to make sure he didn't, like, swap in Typhlosion for Torterra, and then Torterra, and then, you know, so then he got the Z from Torterra or something. I don't know, man, that was fucking scary. So, um, but yeah, so we're not doing already. The game hasn't started, the prep hasn't started, and we're already not doing great. So, um, like I said, that we are going to start out here with a mini or I'll just leave this matchup up, so at least it kind of makes sense, like speed tiers wise and whatnot, so you can see what I was going for here. But we have this brave mini or dude, and mini or is going to be brave as hell this week, man. All I got to do is set up a shell smash, and I should be fucking dandy. So um, we do see that Magna Zone right there. I wasn't too worried about it. I think I can weaken it with other things. And uh, looking at the team, it I might not be able to weaken it just by looking at like the matchup and shit because a lot of the stuff that I have is pretty weak to Magnazone, and I don't even know if he still has said Magnazone. But uh, originally, I was running uh, uh, Volt Switch or a Spear on Raikou, so I was like, okay, well I can fucking you know I can chip it down with Volt Switch, I can do super effective damage to it with uh, Aura Spear. However, I forgot Aura Spear is stupid, and you got to have like a rash nature and all that bullshit. So we didn't end up doing that. So this team was just kind of weak to Magnazone, and uh, we were just fucking hoping for the best, really. But, Yeetwad, um, I didn't listen, it's it's brave, you know, so it would probably be better to be, like, all physical attacking, but I have never hit a Stone Edge in my life, so I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of power, and we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna sacrifice power for accuracy and power gem, you know, they don't, okay, listen, they don't call it power gem because it's weak, dude, okay? It's not called fucking, uh, like, Eh, gem. You know, it's called fucking power gem, okay? It should be called accuracy gem, but it's power gem. So, smash, acro, power gem, sub. It's just, it's what you need, dude. It's the only coverage you need for his team. Originally, I was running Earthquake for that zone, but I decided sub was better just because after you see what the next month is, it'll make more sense, too, because I was like, okay, well, as long as I get the smash off, even if he switches out, I can, like, uh, I can sub down and whatnot. And, uh, I figured, like, so it's a, it's a Screens Raikou, I'll just go ahead and tell you that. So before I had Screens Raikou on the team, I had Earthquake, and I was like, like, I live a lot of hits, but not as well as I do behind the screens. So uh, we did have to go sub on there, just in case like I took a, a weaker hit that wouldn't put me in range of the shields down. Because that's really the only hard part about using Minior is like, you can get a smash off, but if you can't get down below half before you die, then you're kind of dick mcfucked, you know? So we do have a Screens Raikou here, Minamoto, that classic Fate Grand Order weeb shit. Uh, Level 50 with the light clay. Basically, I just have speed for that uh, for that tornadoes there with Volt Switch HP Ice. Just hit that Roto Mo, you know. Hit the Roto Mo. Hit the what is his ground type? Go Lurk and Torterra. Yeah, cool. Great job, Shaden. You're remembering things so well. 
a little bit of defense just because it's spadef is already pretty good so i just kind of slung some evs in there you know and uh uh raikou hits pretty hard dude it didn't like the investment didn't really change a lot of KOs on the team, so I didn't really feel bad about sacrificing the power once again for those screens, but the screens are actually going to be huge for us. We really need them, considering he's got all these fucking threats. He has a Mega... If you hadn't uh, looked at that pink text over there, that is, in fact, a Mega Mewtwo Y, so if your pants weren't pooped already, they will be now, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty standard, just... I wanted Volt Switch for momentum because a lot of the stuff, this actually forces out a good amount of stuff on his team before he knows that I am a light clay set. So, uh, you know, we got that light clay Yagami going on. Shout out to like my first fucking showdown alt. And then, you know, just Bolt Beam basically. So, that is going to be Raikou. Next, we have Diet Timer. This boy is just here to be thick and annoying and it's just here to take hits. Eat them lefties and fucking potentially defog away the rocks and whatnot so that uh, Eat Wad and Todoroki here aren't just completely just blown back by hazards, you know? Because he does have a fortress, so um, we do want to taunt that thing, defog away, nature's madness, all that good stuff. So just standard dot Feeny. Um, it deals, this Feeny particularly, deals with non Electrium Z, Kirin Black relatively well. You know, he's Fizz Def, or I'm Fizz Def, so even Fusion Bolts aren't doing too, too much. And uh, Kirin, it, it's, it's always mixed. Let's face it, dude. Kirin is always mixed, dude. Kirin is like logic, bro. There's no seri there's no secret about it being mixed, dude. It's just mixed as hell. I don't want to die today. You know, you don't want to die today, but you're a hasty or a uh, naive nature, so <laughs> you might have to die, bro. <laughs> That's a good fucking joke. Holy shit. I'm going to write that one down. Um, yeah, man, it's just fucking bulky ass Tapu Fini. Uh, Torterra is a little bit scary. Um... And I'm a water type, so I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Like, this is going to wall it. But, um, yeah, man, it's here, and it can lift some hits. If he's physical in front ape, I just have to scout for the gunk shot, which shouldn't be too terribly hard, considering I have some stuff that I can pivot around into a little bit, you know? But, yeah. Um, pretty standard, yeah, type of any. So, then we got a Kirin White. I just basically have to be Max Max to deal with uh, his Kirin Black. So, I have Kirin White. He has Kirin Black. We have the fucking... Bro, we have a hate crime matchup here, okay? We have something super racist going on, and I'm not going to touch on it too much because as a white person, I don't think I'm allowed to, but we have some stuff going on in this matchup, right? All I know is my Kirim will probably sue his Kirim's dad, you know, if, if I get beat up, and his Kirim definitely knows how to season his chicken. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, That's all I'm saying dude. Okay. <laughs> um, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Fusion, and Flare, and Roost. This thing does pretty good damage to most of his team. I'm not trying to sweep with this boy. I do want the Chopper Berry just because he has that Inferno. If I can at least deal some... Like, he wants to go for close combat. He wants to be Scarf or whatever. We live. We kill it with the Earth Power after the drops and whatnot. Actually, probably before the drops, too. And one thing that should be weakened is Meat Wad absolutely devastates this man's team. Like, it, nothing lives a hit, like, after a Shelf Smash. But, um... Vaporeon. And Vaporeon is one of those ones that can, it's kind of like Feeny, it can almost always just like, you put a little bit of speed on it for whatever you need, and then it can just be bold, basically max max the rest of the time. So it's just gonna sit there, it's gonna be fat as fuck, it can do wishes and all that shit, so uh, I'm not too worried about Scald Spam because Misty Terrain should be up most of the game, but I am worried about it wish passing. So I want to, I need to get that thing, um, basically after rocks or whatever, uh, I need a little. I need. I need. I needed to come in at about 70, 65 percent to be able to outco it with the uh, with acrobatics from Heat Water here. So I need to get, dude. If I can get one Earth Power off on Vaporeon and not let it, you know, wish its health back up and shit, it'll help so, so, so much, dude. One Earth Power is all I need. Earth Power does like 30 men to like 100, 100 invest non-boosting nature uh, Vaporeon. Just one Earth Power is all I need, dude. Just one. Um, I don't feel like that's asking too much. So, and here to help with that as well is this Hoopa Unbound with the Choice Scarf, uh, Dual Stab, Special, and Trick Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is literally just there to hit the Vaporeon and the Mandibuzz, and then Dual Stab hits literally everything else, dude. Um, Trick is there pretty much just for the Vaporeon. Uh, Mandibuzz as well, but I'm not really too worried about Mandibuzz. Like, Mandibuzz can do just Mandibuzz things, and Mini and Miniwar can still beat it, but Vaporeon needs to be tricked. Uh, I also wouldn't mind tricking Lanoon if that thing comes. Um, depending on what Magnezone set, if it's like a more bulky set, I wouldn't mind tricking the Magnezone either. But we'll see. You know, mostly for the for the Vaporeon. If I can trick that fucking Vaporeon, he can't wish up as easily, and it shouldn't be too hard to wear it down. So 
all I, like I said, dude, for Minior to win this fucking game, I just need rocks up to break any sashes, and then I need 30% off on Vaporeon and for it to not wish up. So, if I can trick it and hit it with a Thunderbolt or any move, really, then we're fucking set, dude, okay? Last but not least, we have a Rindo Berry Rhyperior. That's just so fucking grass hits, grass knots, uh, energy balls from Mewtwo. Uh, you know, hidden power grasses, all that good stuff. Isn't just gonna blow us away. We do have speed for Vaporeon, so that way, even if he is sitting there in front of me, I can just go for the Stealth Rocks and then hit it with an Earthquake or a Toxic. Um, Stone Edge, obviously, just for his flyers and his flyers, his birds, and uh, his birds and the Kirim and whatnot. Uh, this guy's basically just here to get up Stealth Rocks and hope for the best. Like, like I said in the draft analysis, which also. Uh, Thanks for all the good feedback on the draft analysis. I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun recording it, so I was hoping you guys would enjoy it. And that was fucking... I don't know, man. It was it was a cool video. So, um, but yeah, man. That's Dwayne here. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And uh, yeah, it's going to be the team. This is an 11-minute 11 11 minute team builder, bro. And only a little bit of weird accents and racism. So we're not doing too bad. Let's jump into the battle. So here we are with the battle, and as you can see, I realized earlier I mentioned HP Ice being for the Rotom Mo, which was not on the original matchup. I don't remember what it was for. He had, a, I guess, his Torterra and whatnot, but yeah, <laughs> I ended up needing it for this Rotom Mo. He didn't bring a ground type, which was nice, but um, yeah, so at matchup, first of all, I brought the wrong Hoopa. It was still, it, I forget that when you gen a Hoopa, I mean, when you breed a Hoopa legally, you have to put it through the prison bottle, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, there, dude, you know what? Can I say that? Probably not. Probably not. Um, yeah, man, so we see Rotom, we see Tyranitar, we see Keldeo, and we see Typhlosion. Four of the six, which were just not on this fucking matchup, dude. They're just not on the matchup. I was like, what the fuck? Um, so we don't have any fighting coverage on the whole team, which means Tyranitar is going to be a fucking piece of shit to deal with. Um, we have a Rhyperior, which doesn't want to deal with this grass type he brought. He brought two water types, so that's fun for my two rock types. And then, um, yeah, Typhlosion. Typhlosion's a Typhlosion. It's not something I'm super worried about. However, it is still a Typhlosion. And I, like, HP Grass plus Fire Move doesn't do terrible versus me. So that'll be fun to deal with. Um, yeah, man. So basically, I just, I'm going to lead off with, uh, with Raikou. I'm going to, like, I didn't want to reveal that I was going to be a screen set. But I realized he's a good player. And he's just going to calc and see that I have no investment. As soon as I Volt Switch on something, he's going to be like, what the fuck's going on? He's probably screen. So... I'm just gonna lead right on off with said Raikou and try to deal with his shenanigans. Cause he's got two he's got two water types, so if he leads off with either of them, I should be okay. I'm expecting um something like Scarf Keldeo would make sense to deal with uh like it beats Scarf Kirim White. So if I wanted to be Scarf Kirim White to deal with his Kirim Black, then he could be Scarf Keldeo and it would bot me. Also, one thing to to note is that every time I play JB, for like the past two years we've taken turns winning until super recently. And he won two in a row and he broke the streak. So I won the last game. So I'm going to try to like get things back in order. If I can pick up a dub here, it puts me, it puts us back at even wins versus each other, if I'm not mistaken. So I get up my light screen. I realize also a lot of his attackers are special. So yeah. And here he's going to go into Titar. I should have set up my fucking, uh, my reflect here. And I just don't for some reason, because I'm stupid. So I just go for the Volt Switch, and I'm like, fuck it, Feeny deals with this. Who needs resisted hits, you know? Who needs bulk? So I'm going to go right on out into Diet Timer, and yeah. We're going to sit here, we're going to get up this Misty Surge. No T-Waves for you, sir, because you would definitely click that versus an Electric type. So he's going to go for the Dragon Dance. He just turn one, dude. This man clicks fucking Dragon Dance. and Or no, turn two, rather. He's going to click Dragon Dance, and that's just, you know, that's a thing. So... Um, basically, if he has, like, Thunder Punch, I'm in for some trouble. If he hits Stone Edges, I'm in for some trouble. Although, I think... I don't remember, but I think it's a roll to do a KO with fucking, uh... With Stone Edge. So, we're gonna go for that Nature's Sadness and put him down to half. Uh, if he was... Like, I don't know, man. I had a feeling I didn't want to Moonblast him. Because if he was, like, Weakness Policy, I might just lose the whole game right there. The whole game. So, he goes for the Stone Edge. He's going to do... A little bit more than half. So with the lefties in the sand, I think that was actually going to be a two KO versus us with the uh, after the D dance. So, oops, you know it kind of sucks he misses. But first of all, we take those, and second of all, I've never had two stone edges in my life, so no one else should ever. I think it makes sense, right? So, yeah, we get a little lucky already, and things are not going great. So, 
I'm in here with Finny. He's got the Kieran Black. I don't know if he's going to be choice or whatnot. I'm going to go hard into my ground type scout for that. Uh, I think he, like, honestly, if he's Electrium, he can just click it right here. So I want to go into my rock type, I mean my ground type, and not die and not lose a Mon, basically. So now if he's choiced, I think he'll switch out. If he isn't, he can just click Ice Beam, basically, as I have to get up my rock. So I'm going to switch out and go into my Kieran Black. I mean, I'm going to switch out and go into my Hoopa Unbound with a million Spadef. I'm offensive, but Hoopa still has great Spadef. So we're right in here with Spoople. Sh don't be sad, Painter. That's why they call it Spoople. And Vaporeon is in here, dude. So, dude, right now I'm clicking Trick. I thought maybe he would want to go for something like Roar just in case I had Nasty Plot, but I want to make sure I get this boy tricked. If he did want to just go for Wish and shit like that, that's a whole do whatever, but he does just click Scald. And this I'm okay with, dude. I will take, I will take that damage on my Hoopa to know that this boy is fucking weakened now. Not even weakened. He's just crippled, you know. Um, I'm gonna click Thunderbolt, hoping he'll give me some more damage on this. But he's smarter than that. He's gonna go to KB West side, and that'll be a resisted hit. You know, rocks aren't up yet, so it's nothing, nothing crazy. And yeah, I'm gonna go for that Thunderbolt. In my head, when this happened, I was like, "Powerful para," and then I was like, "No, actually, he already misses Snow Edge. I can't, I can't even like." I'm a dick for even thinking about hoping for that, you know? So my life screen's gonna move, uh, you know, do that. Hoopa doesn't have a scarf anymore, which means, uh, it's, it's harder, it's like harder to pick up KOs. And so I'm just gonna click Psychic and see how much damage I can do. We see, like, I should have done a good amount of damage versus him with this max special attack Hoopa. So, no one does half, I think he he has some investment of some sort. So, I'm going to switch out into Dwayne, expecting him to expect me to go into Feeny. So, he does, in fact, expect me to go into Feeny and go for the Fusion Bolt. Now, he goes for the Ice Beam again. I can live this hit. It's no problem whatsoever. I'm getting up my Stealth Rocks. And, uh, before he didn't come, I don't even know if that's still on his fucking team anymore at this point. But, Rocks are up. I think his only Defogger is going to be that Rotom Mo. So, he's going to go for the Ice Beam, just going to kill me, that's fine, dude. Like I said, I got up my rocks, I pivoted around a little bit, I took two Fusion Bolts with this guy, so that was that was fucking nice enough for me, dude. Um, now I'm going to Diet Timer, it is 5-5, five five. and I, I basically have to make a weird play here. I do not live to Dragon Claws with fucking, uh, with, uh, with my Kiro, unless the Misty Terrain is up. And I don't even have a Dragon move, so I prepared for this. So, now I can just sack my Hoopa, and now it will be, uh... Four or five, but we do at least get the Misty Terrain up, and I, I can go into my Kirum, live any two hits he wants to go for, and then be able to hopefully blow his ass back with Ice Beams and whatnot. So, we go into Todoroki. I am in here, dude. It is fucking. Dude, Spider Man pointing. I even messaged him this on Discord. I was like, Spider Man pointing meme. So, we go for the Ice Beam. This is a speed tie. I just needed to win the second one, honestly, is all I needed to do. So that doesn't kill. That leads me to believe he's either super invested or like AV. Seeing as how he hadn't gone for Roost or anything, he's probably AV. He did show me after the match that he's in fact AV, but at this time I was like, I don't know. So we actually win both speed ties because luck is the only reason I can ever make a good play or do anything good in a fucking Pokemon battle anymore. So we do win that. That's nice. But like I said, I really only needed to win the second one, and uh, he was AV, so we couldn't have gone for Roost anyways. So, I'm going to go hard into Diet Timer, just because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to let Kirim take a hit. So he goes for the Hidden Power, predicting me, and since he went hard for uh, hard for the Hidden Power, it does lead me to believe that he's going to be choiced, and like I said, it doesn't make sense for, for him to be Scarf, since I could potentially be Scarf Kirim. So, he is actually going to withdraw, not over-predict, but he's going to expect me, I guess, to go out into something that will deal with... Uh, Take an HP grass better. And I'm just gonna go for Moonblast, dude. Fuck it. At this point, Taku Fini can just do whatever. I don't really care. I was really hoping he would make this play, but I wasn't gonna be that aggressive. Like, I gotta kinda. <laughs> I gotta be careful at this point. So he can go for Volt Switch. He can go for fucking Defog. He can do whatever he wants to. He is gonna go for that Defog. Um, that's all fine and dandy. But I'm gonna go for the uh, Moonblast again. And honestly. <laughs> Honestly, sorry, I burped a little bit on my XL there. We get the special attack drop, so I'm... Honestly, I'm kind of straight up hacks in this man. He missed a Stone Edge, he fucking lost the speed ties, and now he gets a Spadef drop. So that means that this Volt Switch isn't going to kill me. Which is... Okay, listen. Frankly, it's kind of hilarious. But it's our boy, so I fucking... I do feel bad, you know? <laughs> he was in the Typhlosion on the Moonblast. I should have been smart and clicked Nature's Madness, but I thought he might just want to go for like Leaf Storm or something and just kill me. Or even Thunderbolt would have killed me, but I don't know. So, 
He's definitely going to outspeed me. He should have HP Grass. He should even Fire Move kills at this point. So he does go for Hidden Power. I miss when Typhlosion had the fire on his neck the whole time. Honestly, Typhlosion stopped being a viable option as a fire type for me when he no longer had fire on his neck the whole time. Where's the red neck at, dude? What are you doing? So now I'm going to Minamoto. And we are going to be able to just click us up a nice light screen. Every Mon left on his team is a special attacker. So that means... Light screen is necessary and reflect isn't. So I can only have to get up one screen now. He fucking misses the fire blast, dude. I'm hexing the ever living fuck out of my boy JB, dude. I am sorry, lucky, and bad. Dude, okay, that's all I can say is fucking sorry, lucky, and bad. So he's gonna make a good play here and go into fucking, uh, go into Rotom. Get his 50% berry on the Volt Switch, and now he's all the way almost back to full. Unfortunate. So I'm gonna go back out into Todoroki. And uh, this thing just straight up dies to an Ice Beam, so I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out. I believe I just clicked Roost expecting the Keldeo to come in, so that way I can at least... Uh, like, I have my Choppa Berry still, so I can still live... I, uh, with the Berry and being at full, I can still live a, uh, a Secret Sword. Yeah, not Sacred, Secret. I always get those confused. Yeah. So we go ahead and get the Roost off. He's a literal Rooster. Um, and Todoroki slash... Um, Todoroki slash Dracaris over here is killing the game. So now I can go back into uh, Minamoto. Like I said, we have the young uh, light screen up, so this isn't going to do too, too much. I am max HP and a little bit of defense with the plus two special defensive fucking light screen in there, so that's cool. He's going to go to Mower of Lawn. I think I Volt Switch. Yep, that, <laughs> I was about to say that would be the good place for me to go for Volt Switch, but I'm not sure what I actually did. That is a Volt Switch. Good, dude, good on me, dude. I'm fucking, other than the fact that I'm haxing this man, that's the only reason I have any offensive momentum, I'm doing great. So, now I'm pretty sure uh, he's gonna wanna switch out. I think I go for Earth Power here? Yeah. He's gonna switch out again. He doesn't, dude, he knows he needs this to kill things. So, he goes into Hollister, and dude, remember what I said about this needing to take an Earth Power? He gives me the 30% off on this. So, as of right now, Minior is looking like it's gonna sweep. Okay, so he's gonna withdraw once again. And go back out into Mower of Lawn. I click Earth Power again, and that's going to be to it KO'd by the Earth Power because, dude, this is a this is a cure of white, dude. Look at all that privilege in one spot. Holy shit! Now he withdraws Mower of Lawn again, and he's going to go into and eh, he's going to go out into Little Sebastian. He has no rocks on his side of the field, so he's just fucking swapping around like crazy with no repercussions. But he's giving me damage off on everything. That is potentially a to it KO. So I'm gonna just click it again. He goes for the Secret Sword. I got my Chopper Berry. Um, and you actually see he does crit us, which sucks, because that definitely, like, we, we lived one without the chopple, but I'm glad we had that chopple because the crit would have killed us. We go for the earth power again. We do not get the roll. Honestly, we didn't deserve to get the roll, so, um, yeah. He's just gonna go for the secret sword, so, that's fine. I can, uh, I can sack my Kirim at this point. It did, it didn't, like, get a lot of kills, but it put in a lot of work, forced a lot of switches, and did a hell of a lot offensive pressure-wise, so... I think the light screen's up now, so I can go ahead and just do that. He's got four, I've got two, things are not looking great. <laughs> um, yeah, that one did a fucking lot. So now we get the light screen up, now we have eight turns to finally click Shell Smash, right? So I want it to be last one Minior, that way Vaporeon can't roar me out if I do end up versus it. So he's gonna go out into Mower Alon. I kinda figured he would, so I'll go for the Hidden Power, <laughs> and we do kill that boy. Also. It's kind of my play to just let this die, and I can't click Volt Switch because then I will have to switch out, so um, we just click on that. He's going to go into Little Sebastian once again. He's going to lock himself into a move that will hopefully blow me back with Minior, but we'll see what happens is he is going to hit. He takes out Minamoto, and now it's Minior versus the world. Dude, he gets a crit. Wow, dude, quit hacking me. JB, fucking the audacity you have to hack me like that. What the hell? Yeetwad, it is your time to shine, buddy. So, I'm getting hype, guys. I'm getting fucking hype. Shield down is coming through. I'm spinning slow, dude. He's spinning so slow. Look at him go. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. He doesn't crit me. We live at 38 HP. He has no priority left on his team. I'm going to shell smash up. I'm down below half, so once I get my 120 base speed stat, once I go into shields down, I'm at plus two. I outspeed his entire team. Barring... Uh random wacky shit like if he has aqua jet on his scarf keldeo then i might be fucked but we'll see so 
I gotta hope he didn't have it. He didn't switch out. He lets me take this, which means he probably didn't have Aqua Jet on his Scarf Kill deal, and that makes sense. You know, that's <laughs> that's not something. Uh, at this point, dude, in the game, I'm just like, how can I lose this game? So he's gonna go into Hollister. He doesn't. He probably knows that he dies because uh, I've, I've fucking had this calc on my head the whole game. Acrobatics, fucking just mm, fuck you, Hollister, and your pop collar. Also, shout out to JB for using the nickname Hollister because that's funny. Now, last but not least, he goes into Mike Typhon. He's taking a little bit of chip. Um, if he was Rock Resist Barry, I'm not clicking Power Gym. I'm not clicking it. Acro kills, I have no reason to give him any reason to live. So, Mike Typhon, and I hate that name. I do. Mike Typhon goes down. We get the little mini mini, the little mini mini or sweep in the back, dude. Oh my god, I'm rubbing my hands together like Birdman. I'm excited. I'm spitting a little bit out of sheer excitement. And we do take the 1 0 victory versus our boy James, aka JB, Mr. Westside. And uh, that was a fun one, dude. <laughs> this game was so hype. Holy shit. I'm just so glad Minior got to do anything. And honestly, it probably wouldn't have been possible without the Stone Age miss. The uh, getting the second speed tie with, uh, with Kiram. And then there's a third thing that I've already forgotten what it was. But basically, we hashed our boy, and I feel bad, but Minior did stuff, so it's okay. We take those. So, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Um, check out the rest of the coaches, too. Links will be down below. And bye forever.